Uh, next question comes from Eric Taylor. Uh, I'm teaching wilderness survival for the Boy Scouts. That was my favorite merit badge, by the way. Speak for yourself. I like air conditioning. I do too, which is why I don't go camping in the summer typically. I, I have to say, there were two merit badges I took twice, and wilderness survival was one of them. Not because I needed to pass it again, but because we got to go out and, and camp overnight in a primitive shelter, and I really enjoyed that. Um, but anyway, back to our question. Uh, I'm teaching wilderness survival for the Boy Scouts. Uh, as always, the best knife in a survival situation is the one you have on you, of course. But I would rather teach the motto, be prepared. I would love a few fixed blade and folder combos that work well together in the outdoors teaching survival. These are scouts, so affordable options are appreciated with a combo under $200. Thank you. I love this question. I had a lot of, I, and I knew exactly the answer like right away. Um, first off, I think $200 is a bit ambitious. That's not exactly affordable, I think, for most people. Um, thinking back to my time in the scouts, especially some of the families, you know, are more strapped for cash in that program than others. They're not going to be able to throw $200 at a pair of items. So, I'm gonna scale this way back, make it much more affordable. Uh, still a little bit of money, but not a lot. Um, and what you want is a Swiss Army knife and a Mora. Affordable, lightweight, so they'll be able to take it You know, hiking if you go on a hiking trip with this stuff. And if they break, not the end of the world either. Um, as far as the Swiss Army knife to pick, uh, there's a few favorites of kind of outdoors folks out there. The Farmer series with the Alox handles, again, thanks to their more uh, rugged construction, is a favorite. Uh, the One Hand Trekker is also a favorite, but I think both of those might be a little more specialized. You have to know more about what you're doing to use a farmer to the full extent, I would say, and they're a little more expensive, like I said, and you know, this, this is not the one-hand trekker, but this is the same, uh, it shares the frame with this particular knife. Might be a little big for the task at hand. Uh, so the one I want to recommend here is, if I can pull it up here, uh, the Huntsman. Really great model, comes in at 38 bucks, so not too bad. And you can get it, first of all, in a few different colors, but I picked the translucent blue here because blue is a great color to carry in the outdoors. Even more than orange in certain situations, blue can actually be easier to see in the wild because a bright, vibrant blue like this is actually pretty rare in nature. Uh, so good thing to keep in mind when picking other gear as well. But this has a great set of tools for the outdoors user. Again, kind of like the Tinker from earlier, you get a pair of blades. You get larger one that can be used for general purpose, maybe a little bit of food prep. Smaller one is great for detail work, great for whittling, which is a great Boy Scouts pastime. Beyond that, any outdoor Swiss Army knife, you're gonna want a saw. They do a really good job with these pocket saws. They are sharp, they cut really well for their size. Definitely essential. Beyond that, you get a nice pair of scissors. Great for all sorts of things, sorts of projects, other merit badges. And you get your cap lifter and your bottle opener. Or, why do I always do that? I don't know. Cap lifter, bottle opener, and can opener. Canned goods and Boy Scouts, I know I opened a lot of cans with one of these. Even though that's less of a thing now, a lot, of, a lot of things have pull tabs. On the back, you have that parcel hook. You also have an awl, great for leatherworking and other craft projects in Boy Scouts. Great for a nice crisp edge you can use to strike fire steels and that sort of thing. Speaking of which, you've also got the screw, or sorry, the uh, corkscrew on the back, which I'm not advocating uh, your, your Boy Scout aged kids go opening bottles of wine with these. But they're great for uh, for untying knots, especially in like tight paracord. But also some of those fire starting things I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is uh, two of the pieces from the kit you can get from Victorinox right now. The Fire Ant set comes with three rods and six pieces of tinder, which is what uh, this is right here. And this strikes just like a, a ferro rod essentially. And because of the twist pattern they put on these, they can actually live inside that corkscrew. So you've got added functionality there without taking up added space anywhere else. Let me fold that in so it doesn't pop out so much. There you go. Nice vibrant colors look pretty good on this as well. It's really good to have those on hand just in case you need it, quite honestly. And then of course, toothpick and tweezers. Uh, the tweezers on the Swiss Army knives aren't like 
the most heavy duty on there, but they can be used in a pinch for things like, you know, tick removal, that sort of thing. Um, good backup set anyway for, for that sort of thing. Uh, with that, like I said, you want to pair that with a Mora. And I'm a big fan, um, for younger folks especially, the Pro Series, either the Pro C or Pro S. C for carbon, S for stainless. This is the Pro C right here. Some may lean uh, and say, you know, get a stainless knife for the Boy Scout. They might not be taking as good a care of it uh, at that age. I kind of think the carbon is, is a teaching tool to help them realize they need to take care of some things a certain way. And very affordable, 13 bucks for this guy right now. Uh, the reason I like this over something like the Companion or, or over some of the other models are a few key specs. One, blade length is just under four inches, uh, actually about three and five eighths. Uh, so it's under a key, you know, a key mark for certain areas in terms of blade length. Very easy to uh, make that work anywhere. And you also have a very aggressive finger guard right here. I think that's definitely important for a survival scenario, but also very important for folks who may not be as first with the tool. It's just a little bit of added safety. Plus, because it comes up straight perpendicular or uh, yeah, perpendicular to the edge, it's a little easier to sharpen than something like the Companion, which has an angled handle. On that note about sharpening, you've got two different grinds here between these two knives. So you'll be able to teach a couple of different skills. Uh, the Scandi is, of course, regarded as being pretty easy to sharpen because you can lay your flat bevel of the edge right on the stone. Whereas the Swiss Army knife is going to have a what you know what we consider anyway a more conventional grind with the uh, a flat profile and a secondary bevel, and rather than something like a super steel that's going to have an edge that lasts a long time but then is really hard to sharpen, the softer simple stainless that Swiss Army that Victorinox uses on these knives is going to be a much better teaching tool to get those scouts to learn how to sharpen effectively, because it's not going to be difficult to do with this particular steel. But these work exceptionally well. They're quite tough. I prefer this over like the more robust, which is the same shape, but with a thicker blade because this has a Scandi grind, which is not the sliciest grind in the world. Works great for wood carving and stuff out where you might need to be quote unquote surviving. Uh, but it's also thin enough. You could still do some like food prep stuff with it if you needed to. Really, really solid thing here. Uh, sheath. Also lightweight, the whole package, very light, uh, comes in, I think, um, well, the knife itself is 2.9 ounces and the sheath does not add much. It's got a good clip here with a hook on the, uh, underside to keep it from sliding off. And these two together before like tax and shipping or anything else, 51 bucks, a lot you can do with this. Like I said, versatile beyond just the, uh, the wilderness survival merit badge. Solid, solid set right there. I did want to mention one more, um, a slightly more expensive Mora, and that's the Cans Bowl. Uh, they started about $34 for the standard version, but this version right here for about 53 bucks, if the, uh, the kid does have a little bit more money to spend, also a good option thanks to the added stuff that comes with it. These are brand new right now. You've got a survival kit on the outside of the sheath that comes with a full size fire steel and it also comes with a diamond sharpener here on the side. Really nice. And the knife itself, very nice too. You don't get as much of a finger guard. There's a little bit there and the blade length is over four inches. So again, keep that in mind before you uh, decide to go this particular direction. But another great knife. You've got that Scandi grind thin enough where it can slice. Scalloped here at the front. So the belly section is even better at the slicing. And crisp spine on this particular knife, which you don't get on the uh, the Pro C. Now that's very popular with bushcrafters because you can strike a fire steel with the spine. A Little bit of a more advanced technique there too. It's not something I would necessarily recommend for every Boy Scout out there, which is why I don't think it's you know that big of a deal breaker that the Pro C does not have that particular feature. Um, but again, something for you to keep in mind. Uh, really fun question. I, I really enjoyed that and I really believe in that combo right there. I think it's gonna be great. 51 bucks, uh, a few more if you want to get the, uh, the fire starter capability and uh, to uh, carry it along with really, really solid.